French presidential candidate Francois Fillon faces new accusations of fraud. Fillon has been accused of paying his wife hundreds of thousands of dollars to be his parliamentary aide, but that she did no work. Now it's being alleged she was also paid $47,000 in public funds as a severance payment when the job ended. Fillon says he's a victim of a media plot to end his campaign. Well, Miriam Francois has been following the latest developments and joins us from London. Miriam, just give us the details then on these latest revelations. Well, it's definitely been a bumpy few weeks for uh, Francois Fillon, who was the leading candidate uh, in the upcoming presidential elections. First, there were the allegations from a leading French newspaper that his wife, Penelope, was paid for a fictitious job, paid a significant amount of money. And then further allegations about even more money uh, for this job, which has yet to uh, be confirmed as being actually real. There's no uh, evidence, according to the newspaper, of Penelope having had a, a pass or a a parliamentary pass or any evidence of her work during that period. Then allegations also came about uh, regarding his children. They are alleged to have been paid uh, as lawyers at a time when they weren't qualified yet as lawyers. And now more allegations uh, concerning Pen Penelope, uh, this time that she received severance pay amounting to around $47,000 um, during the period uh, in question. Uh, and in one of those uh, severance contracts, she was actually paid uh, uh, this uh, significant amount of money and then re-employed just two weeks after that. Now, these are the sorts of allegations which are now uh, really putting a damper on François Fillon's uh, bid for the presidency. He has uh, made a point of trying to fight back. The party has been rallying behind him. But it's not clear whether or not this could uh, ultimately prove to be the nail in the coffin uh, for his bid. You mentioned it's been a, a bumpy few weeks, particularly for Fiona and the Republican Party as a whole. How are they likely to respond to this over the next few weeks and months? Well, there's been a lot of speculation that they're looking at an alternative candidate, but they have been very clear about the fact that there is no plan B. François Fillon was elected during primaries. Those are elections within the party. Uh, and as such, he is the chosen candidate, and he has so far received, at, very, at the very least, the official backing um, of the party. Um, he has sought to fight back through public rallies. He also published an open letter to the French public in which he said that the allegations were were false, but he did apologize for employing family members, pointing out that he felt the climate had changed and that although this is still legal in France and many uh, MPs do in fact employ uh, family members, that actually he realized that the climate has moved on from this. And so he apologized for uh, a misjudgment, he said, in that regard. But he denies any wrongdoing and there is um, uh, an investigation currently uh, in place. He says that if he's found guilty of any wrongdoing, he will resign. But of course, he denies any wrongdoing so far. Okay, Miriam, thank you.